Hello everyone. In this video session, I'm going to practically demonstrate a Java program to left rotate an array by three elements. Let's say there is an array like this and this array need to be left rotated by three elements using the Java program. Before I explain how to left rotate an array by three elements, let me first explain how to left rotate it by one element first. So if you understand this uh, concept of left rotating by one element, you will be able to understand left rotating by three elements. So let me explain this first one element. So let me take a copy of this uh, original array so that we can later point of time, we can compare the original with the left rotated one, fine. Now, you see here, left rotating means what? The first element, if you have to left rotate this uh, first element of this array by one element, so it, it cannot uh, go left, right. So when you, when you still try to left rotate it, this will come to the last position. So one will come to the last position. So one will be coming here. Then coming to the second element, when you left rotate this second element, so it will move to this position, right? The second element has to move to this position. So two will go to the first position. Then coming to three, three has to left rotated by one element. That means it has to come to the second position. This number has to come to the second position. So three will be coming here. What about four? Four also will be coming to the this position. So four will be coming here. Then what about five? Five also will be going left by one element. So five will be coming here. So after you left rotate each and every element of the array, the resultant array will look like this guys. You see, two came here, three came, okay? Three is in the third position, now three is in second position. Four, in the, four was in the fourth position, now four is in the third position. So every element position has changed by one element. So now you understood what is left rotating by one element. Now you can easily understand what is left rotating by three elements. Let me again take a copy of this so that I can show you what is left rotating by three elements. Let's start with one guys. So if you have to left rotate this one by three elements, so one position, one element, two element, three element. So one has to come here guys. So one will be coming here. Then what about two? One, two, three. So this position two has to come. Copy this and this is the position that two will be coming. What about three? One, two, three. This is the position of three. So three will be coming here. What about four? One, two, three. Four will be moving by three elements. So four will be coming here. What about five? One, two, three. Five will be coming to the second position. So five will be coming to the second position. So after you left rotate an array by three elements, the array will look like this case. Hope you understood what is left rotating by one element, what is left rotating by three elements. So if I have to write a Java program, to left rotate an array by three elements. First, I need to write the logic for left rotating. Okay, first I need to write the logic for left ro rotating it by single element first. Java code should be written for single element first. Once you get this done, then it is very easy for us to left rotate it by three elements. So let me show you how to practically write the Java code for left rotating an array by one element first. After that, I'll customize it for rotating for three elements. So here is a sample code guys. So inside the main method, we need to write the logic. Uh, initially, the array will be like this. Integer array A is equal to one comma, two comma, three comma, four comma, five. Like this, this is an integer array. Now we need to left rotate this array by three elements. So before I practically write the code for left rotating by three elements, we need to write the code for left, load, left rotating this uh, array by one element first, okay? So we'll be writing the code for left rotating this array by one element first. After that, we'll change it to three elements. So how to left rotate this array by one element for that? There's a way guys. So, so when you left rotate, this element will be added here. So when you add the second element to the first position, second position element to the first position, the first position element will be gone guys. So to save this uh, first element, before you replace this number with this number, you need to save this first. So for that reasons, when you left rotate, one of the number will be gone guys. You see, if you copy this two here, one will be gone. Then three will be coming here, two will be there. 
three will be coming here four will be coming here five will be coming here but this one should come here at later point of time but uh, when you replace this one with two the one will be gone you cannot even copy paste here right that's the reason we need to save this one into a variable say int first is equal to f0 like this before you iterate this uh, uh, iterate copying of the numbers uh, to the previous positions first you need to save this first element into a variable otherwise this first element will be lost guys while copying the second element into the first position the first element will be lost that's the reason we have to save this first element into the first variable first then we will write a for loop for int starting with the index 0 we need to copy this here that means starting with the index 0 i is equal to 0 i less than for now i'll say i less than or equal to i less than or equal to the size of the array minus 1 because the last element will have the size of the array minus 1 index if the elements are 5 the index of this last element will be 4 the total elements in this array are 5 then the index of the last element will be 4 that means size minus 1 so what is the size of this array guys size of the array is a dot length a dot length is the size of the array but last index is size minus 1 so here you have to say size that is a length of the array minus 1 and i plus plus you have to increment i for every iteration here there is one problem guys that is we should not be keeping equal to symbol it looks like we have to start with index 0 till we have to go till the last index that is 4 which is nothing but a size minus 1 that's why we have to keep equal symbol here but there is a problem in using the equal symbol so uh, for now i'll keep this equal symbol guys at later point of time when the time really comes i'll explain the reason and remove this equal symbol because this equal symbol should not be used here in this case i'll explain you the problem what will happen when you use the equal symbol once you understand the reason i'll remove this equal symbol for now let's continue with the logic like this starting with the index 0 till the fourth index that is size minus 1 index so what i'm going to do is i am going to assign this element to this element how to do that simple guys for now i is 0 guys okay in the first iteration of this for loop i is 0 i starts with 0 i is 0 0 less than or equal to size minus 1 that is 4 right 0 less than or equal to here less than or equal to 4 that's fine yes it is true so we'll go inside the for loop and what i will do is i'll say a of i is equal to a of i plus 1 what does it mean you are assigning the value of the second element to the first element right a of 0 is this one a of 1 is this one so you are assigning the value of this one to the first element that means one will be gone this uh, if i have to represent this internally i will write a comment here on the side for explanation purpose so here when this is executed in the case of first iteration when i is 0 a of 0 is equal to a of 1 that means a of 1 will be replacing this position one is gone guys one is gone already okay by doing this now i will become one one less than or equal to four true again we'll go inside the for loop a of one is equal to a of two a of one is equal to a of two that means a of two will be copied to a of one so three will come here two is gone now two is already there but one is really gone three copy to here that's fine now i will become two two less than or equal to you see the array is slowly left rotating one by one the element which was there here moved here the element which was there here moved here right so that is happening so when i became two two less than or equal to four is again true we'll go inside the for loop a of two is equal to a of three a of two is this one a of three is this one so a of two is equal to a of three so a of three will be copied to the a of two like this then i will become three three less than or equal to four true again so a of three is equal to a of four a of three is equal to a of four so a of four will be copied to a of three simple that's it so then i will become four now four less than or equal to four is true so we'll again go into the for loop a of four is equal to a of five is it possible a of four is possible so this array has index only up to fourth index but fifth index is not there 0 1 2 3 4 now you are saying a of 4 is equal to a of 5 that is possible no a of 5 is not at all possible 
that's the reason guys we should not be giving equal symbol here okay i told you right while writing the statement i told you right uh, there will be a situation coming where you have uh, you have to remove this equal symbol that will not work so we cannot give a of 4 is equal to a of 5 a of 5 is not possible at all up to 4 is possible a of 4 is possible a of 5 there is no element having the a of 5 that's why we have to say less than only so this condition will become false now 4 less than 4 is false so we'll come out of the for loop that's the reason guys we should not be giving equal symbol here hope you understood now it looks like the entire array got left uh, rotated by one element but uh, there is a problem guys that is you see this two got left uh, this two got left rotated here three got also got left rotated four also got left rotated five also got left rotated but one didn't get left rotated the one is got one is gone guys okay when you copied this second element into the first position the one is gone that is the reason guys we have created a variable and assigned the first element beforehand here in the initial position itself uh, before left rotating this array we assign the first value that is one to the first so that we know that once you replace the second element with the first one then first element will be gone that is the reason we saved it for future purpose so here what we'll, we what we can do is we can say a of this position we have to fill the one has to come at this position everything got left rotated except one one has to come if it has to be left rotated one will be coming here right so for that reason the last index it has to come at fourth index that is size minus 1 a of size minus 1 is equal to we have to simply assign this with first that's it nothing more than that guys so what happens when you do so this one will be coming here now guys this is the logic for left rotating this array by one element if you print it out system dot out dot print ln and if you have to print this array we need to convert this array into a string for doing so we have a predefined class known as arrays there is a predefined method of the arrays that is two string of integer type and you need to provide this array inside this two string method of arrays class this two string will convert this array into a string and print ln will be printing this uh, converted string array now let's run this code and see whether the array got left rotated by one element run this you see the array got perfectly left rotated by one element two went to the first position three went to the second four went to the third position five went to the fourth position and one went to the last position you see everything is perfectly left rotated by one element fine but our requirement is not to left rotate by one element it is to left rotate by three elements how this is possible with a small tweak guys so we can do that okay if you want to left rotate this array by three elements then we need to do small changes to the same program the same program will be doing a small change what is that is here this code starting from here to here we'll put inside a for loop external for loop for here i is already used so i'll be sorry uh, i'll press tab here here i is already used in the inner for loop so we'll be using j here j is equal to 1 j less than or equal to how many times you want this uh, array to be left rotated that many times you have to give here so for, uh, for that we can create a variable guys so how many times you want to left rotate the array by let's say n is equal to 3 that means three times you want to left rotate that value you are storing into the n so here you have to mention n guys j plus plus that is this this for loop will be iterating three times every time this for loop is iterated the array will be each and every element in the array will be moving by left by one position so three times if this array will rotate that means this array will be left rotated by three elements simple guys so here int j is equal to 1 j less than equal to j plus plus and at the end of this uh, line we have to end the external for loop this for loop should end here all the code for left rotating by one element should be kept inside this for loop which will iterate three times so without for loop this uh, array will be left rotated by one element here you are iterating three times means the array will be rotated how many times three times very simple logic guys okay you need to surround this with for loop which will iterate this same logic for three times so the array will be left rotated by three times simple now let me run this code and uh, you see here already explained if the array is the same this array is left rotated by three elements you should get this kind of output 4 5 1 2 3 let's see whether we are getting that or not i am printing the array 
anyhow so let's run this after left rotating this array by three elements let's see what will be the output it's uh, four five one two three let's see you see four five one two three it's matching guys that means this program is working perfectly fine so hope guys you understood how to write a java program to left rotate an array by three elements so that's it guys thank you bye